So today I thought I would have a go at a little bit of a smaller map than last time around. The last game we played was Australia on a huge map where we didn't play with any governments at all. I thought, you know what, I really fancy just playing the Ottomans because they are absolutely ridiculous at killing things. This unique governor, the Turkish bombard and, and just generally all the other stuff they've got going makes for a really, really fun game. So here we are, standard, seven seas, small. If you want to have a look at the setup, look, you can see I've just sort of left it alone. There's the seeds down there. The only thing we've got to do is pick a colour because I think that red is a sexy red. The aim of this one is going to be pretty much what we do every game, which is the first 50 to 100 turns, we're just going to try and survive because Deity AI is absolutely nonsensically difficult with all of its starting units and starting techs and the ability just to sort of cheat its way through the early game. So we're going to try and just smooth that out. But once we've got a foothold, we're going to be going on the offensive, as you might expect. Um, the Ottomans don't have anything really to help with culture, science, gold input, although their Grand Bazaar does get a lot of amenities in. They are very good at killing things. That 50% production towards siege units is handy. It means that you can get early game catapults and bombards out pretty well, and then later in the game, when the artillery and rocket artillery come through, you can still always produce them. But the plus five combat strength is really handy, and combined that with the unique governor who gives a 10, a plus 10 combat strength, I think all enemy cities within nine tiles of it, and you can stick it in somebody's capital, that combined is a plus 15 combat strength on your bombard units and catapult units. We normally struggle to fight the deity too early in the game because the deity AI starts with a huge tech boost and a lot of starting troops. This, hopefully, should kind of even the playing field a little bit and mean that we could in theory attack people with catapults and bombards. We'll see what sort of start we get given and where we are, but you know, it's a possibility. Now this already is an interesting start, look at that. We've got deer, actually that's quite handy. We've got rice, mmm, it's not a very high production start, but there's a lot of opportunity, sir. I mean, even with this resource, there's two resources. I'm just thinking whether or not it makes sense for me to move over to that river so I can put the water mill down and then get the improvement on the food tiles. I'm gonna move my warrior just in that direction, have a little peek and see what's going on here. Because I don't want to ruin the start for me in the sense that there is a four yield tile here and then another four yield tile here. And if I move and put myself on the cotton, and I'll get the extra gold per turn, which is really handy. But I won't have a very good yield tile. It'll just be this one until we work the deer tile a little bit later. But I'm tempted to do it, actually. Because the extra gold per turn is really handy in the beginning of the game. You know what? I'm going to just go for it. We're going to move over. I'm going to move myself. Yeah. No, I like this. I like this idea. Let's settle on top of the cotton. Like so. It's Istanbul, ladies and gentlemen. What a beautiful beautiful city that is and we're right next to the tundra this is a seven seas map which means there will be seven seas although i think on a small uh, small map maybe there isn't exactly seven i'm not entirely sure but i like this this is a good map it's got sort of inland seas effectively uh it means we're gonna have to go on the offensive to get our stuff done now what are we going to do is it worth trying to rush a wonder at the beginning of the game we've got a deer tile here deer tiles can be a lot of fun especially because we could put the Temple of Artemis down here. So I, I think I quite like that idea. We haven't built a wonder in a little while and building a wonder just really pushes you through the beginning of the game. That Temple of Artemis as well, if we have a look at, hang on, it's actually quite good way of doing it. Plus four food, plus three housing, it means our capital is gonna be absolutely ridiculous. Add to that an Oracle start. Where is this? We go for our two Oracles and then you could always put like a, theatre square down in the middle there when it's ready, that would be an amazing start. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. That would give us the culture we need, that would give us the great person points we need. It means we're not going to put, if we get the oracle, it means we're not going to put the government plaza down in our capital because we want as many different districts as we can because the oracle works well in any district that produces great people points. So things like campuses, theatre squares, commercial hubs, that sort of thing would be really, really good. Are we going to go for a religion? I was considering going for a crusade religion. We haven't really been given a huge faith start and I don't want to be settling down in the tundra if I can help it to get the 
Aurora. No, you know what? We're not gonna bother. We're gonna just play this normally and I'm gonna go straight for the uh, Temple of Artemis. So we're gonna get Animal Husbandry and see what it gives us. We're also gonna head down the Civic Street straight to Mysticism to focus on the Oracle. To do that properly, we're gonna need a monument so that we get a little bit of extra culture per turn. And we also need to work these initial early game tiles as well. We'll go Monument and then we'll go Builder. An early game Pantanal. Okay. Well, maybe Astrology isn't the worst idea after all. Because that natural wonder means that we could put a city around here and immediately do something quite fancy. Ah, oh, now, I'll keep heading in this direction. Okay, I thought I saw a city-state in that animation. Is that a faith city set? If that is, that means we might be able to get the first pantheon here, unless there's someone like Russia in the game. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, Jerusalem. Are we the first to find them? We are. Holy sites exert pressure as if they were holy sites. Mm. <laughs> I do want a religion. That changes everything. You see, you have to change your strategies based on what city-states get popped down, and that Jerusalem city-state is a really good one to help with the old faith, so... Hmm. So have we got any horses? How lucky are we with horses? I don't think very well at all because we've got lots of planes here and I have a feeling horses don't spawn on planes very often at all. No. Okay. We didn't get very lucky there but we can do camps now which means we can get those deer tiles improved. That'll give us a lot of extra gold and it will keep our uh, city working well. Which one did I boost? State workforce. I really could have wanted one of these two down here. Foreign trade or mysticism, but never mind. Straight for archery. We're gonna get this wonder. So this is definitely the lake above us. And you can see there's a pearls tile here. If I needed to rush the faith, that would have been a good way of doing it, but never mind. This is okay for now. But I don't know. It's not the best start in terms of habitable land. I mean, I'm sure it'll be fine, but it's not the best. I'm gonna go seven turns for a builder, I believe. We're not gonna rush that early settler this time around. I'd rather work all of the tiles and get a really big city. And then with the Temple of Artemis, we're gonna get a huge capital. And we're gonna stack that with Pingala to really make it well. Now, I don't need to rush faith per turn because we've already got the uh, city-state giving us all the faith we could require, but I am gonna go for discipline to keep us safe from barbarians. What's in this hut? 40 gold. Oh. Actually, that's pretty good. I'll take that. This is where other horses are, so they are on plains. Oh, I don't know what I'm talking about. I think it's grass plains that horses don't spawn on. I'm, I'm probably just making this up. I have a feeling when I was making the map, I realised that there was, a, there was some sort of weird placement rule with horses that I'd never really figured out before. This is just so much in the terms of the mechanics of the game and how it's set up, I just, I just don't have any real sense of. It's really, really strange. Now, Leventa. Oh, you see, this is definitely going to be a faith game here. Uh, not in the sense we're not going to go for a religious victory, but I think this is definitely a crusade edition game. Now, have I got religious settlements? Yeah, Whoa, look at that, what a result. We're going to get the free settler. I think this is definitely what we should be doing. Wonderful. Now, are we, are we going to settle right over towards Jerusalem? Or is there a better location for a city? If I sort of head this way. There's lots of tundra down here, which isn't the best. Mercury, which is a good improvement, as jade. So this is a high immunity area here. The cotton, and this doesn't really, no, the jade is over here as well. I think this city would, would grow quite well, but I need the holy site first, and we haven't quite got that technology yet. So I'm tempted to move my settler over here to start with. I've oh got, there's a double Ah, oh, you see that the cotton stops us from working both of those mountain tiles at the same time. You know what? I am going to settle over here. I think while we're while we're exploring, we'll put my settler out. We've got Jerusalem actually keeping this area safe from barbarians. Let's move our settler over. Oh, you see the other area now. It's, it's flooded now, as if to say, come over here, settle in this direction. And saying, oh, fine. Ugh. Oh man, we should have gone the other direction. Ah, oh, France is over here. They've been settling in this direction as well. Ah, we're going to regret that choice. No, I think ultimately we're going to just have to kill France, and that's fine. We 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 can accept that. But oh, damn it, that's really annoying. Anyway, the camp is down, which means the Temple of Artemis can be built in six turns. Now, I was kind of hoping Istanbul would be of a higher level by a higher level by that point. I have to work this tile here. Yeah. 
and then we can switch over. I need it to be at least three pop. My settler has moved on to the marsh over here. Again, marshes, not the best place to settle cities. I'd rather have it on a hill and have it sort of quite defensible, but never mind. City goes down, and there it is. We have the inspirational sight of the Pantanal filling me with joy. I'm gonna go straight for a monument start here. I think the culture, I mean, combined with the Pantanal, I might be able to really get this city pushing the culture of our empire up nice and high to get that early game government. I want Oglagaki so that when we do go to war with France, we have that bonus to the, to the attack of our troops. Oh, just boosted foreign trade. Just like that. There you go, I think we found a new continent. Let's have a look at the old continent tile map. Africa. France is on Africa and we're on Ur. Ugh. Ugh. Right, irrigation boosted. This works perfectly. Look at that. Three turns to archery, three turns until population growth. Oh, this couldn't have gone any better. This is a wonderful arrangement. Now, I'm thinking whether I treat myself to that tile over here, this, this marsh rice. It won't help us actually produce... Yeah, it won't help us produce the Temple of Artemis any faster. So maybe that's probably not a good idea. Hmm. No, we'll leave that alone. It won't stop us going from mysticism, though. What a good tile that one is. So there's archery. I was just putting a couple of turns of settling in just so that I've got that for later in the game, but that's fine. We don't need to finish that one now. Istanbul, you jump straight on that Temple of Artemis. 20 turns? Oh, feels like such a long time. Oh, hopefully we can, we can sort of push that one through a little bit more. I'm wondering if I just unlock the tile. No, it's working exactly what it wants to be doing. So that's fine. We have to respect that one. Um, now what do I do here? There's the, oh, there's, there's a bloody barbarian. Get lost. Get lost, my friend. I've got a spare warrior just lurking around just for situations like this. Do I get mining or do I go straight for astrology? I might go for astrology, actually, just to get that religion going. The mining would be handy to get the jade. Hmm. I mean, it would give me a little bit more production in my capital, but not a huge amount. You know what? I'm going to go for astrology first. Nope. Scrap that. I'm going to go for mining yeah, mining and then astrology. Yep, I've changed my mind. So we did manage to get a delegation in with France, which is okay. They may be sort of relatively friendly. We don't want formal friendship, but we don't mind a friendly relationship just to keep things nice and easy between us. Ah, I'm just gonna put you on explore now. I don't really care where you go. I hate how hard it is to kill those early game barbarians. They really do put in a fight. Goodness me. Every time a wonder pops up, I always go, oh, really? Anyway, Stonehenge. Stonehenge has been built, Hanging Garden, sorry, the, the, the baths have been built. Both of those are fine. So now mysticism is done. We can now be building the Oracle in Istanbul. This is gonna be a difficult challenge to get both of these out, but we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to try. I need to flood Istanbul with as much food and production as we can get away with. So actually, I'm gonna treat myself the initial early game gold. I was thinking about building up for a settler. I'm actually gonna go for a trader and get that, oh, get that to be sending it to Konya, build the road up, get everything going. I think that's actually going to be the best thing to do. Craftsmanship, we're about to get the third tile improvement. So that's fine. Yeah, nothing changing so far. I need the one food and production. Goodness me. It's so difficult in this early game. Now what's in here? 20 faith? Yeah, it's not the best. But we can now get the jade in. Lovely. Right, now do I want to keep the jade? Istanbul has got two amenities. Two amenities is one too many. I don't mind about that. I could trade this with France. What's France gonna give me? Oh, I don't want to demand from you. What are they gonna take? For the early game cotton, they would give me six gold. What about for the jade as well? They would give me 12 gold per turn. Oh, that's really quite good. That would help my infrastructure. You know what? I'm gonna do it. Oh, barbarians must get infuriated when this happens. I just literally, here we go, we're gonna go straight for battle cry. Just as he attacks me, my warriors level up and now they are absolute badasses. Come on, come get me. I think a government plaza might work quite nicely. I don't think we're gonna get the early, I know we're quite close to the early empire. Okay, that's not the worst thing in the world, built any specialty district. I didn't actually, I haven't built a specialty district yet. Oh no, that's the first boost I got. Oh yes, I remember now. I remember now. Okay, now Konya, is Konya already working the Pantanal? No, it's not. It's choosing not to. It's because it's got this tile on. I'll just let it do what it wants. 
I think maybe next time round it'll go for the Pantanal tile, and that's fine. I don't mind this early game culture. It just helps to keep us relevant while the computer's getting a 20 per turn. Oh my god, Jerusalem does not like this encampment. They are attacking on force. That's quite amazing. Well, that's fine. We just gotta make sure that we're the ones to destroy it. Now, uh, we're only one turn away from astrology. Oh, that's really annoying. <laughs> okay, build a settler for one turn, and then we'll just keep the production in that, just so we don't lose it for later. And then we'll immediately buy in that tile. Here's astrology. There we go. Right, switch this over to holy site. 60 gold is an absolute steal for that tile. Get rid of the settler. Let's get the holy site in. Tell you what, I could use a lumber yard, but construction's quite far away. I could go for bronze working. Bronze working's relatively interesting because that would give me iron and I could have a look and see where things are, but then also writing is quite good as well. Mmm, too many choices. Too many choices. The wheel with watermill. I could just rush by the watermill into my capital. That's probably not a bad idea, actually. And it gives me a little bit more production and a lot more food to help get that Temple of Artemis going. So as expected, Jerusalem used their archers to hit that encampment, so now I can get it and get the boost. There we go, plus three era score, military tradition. Oh, it's all wonderful. I don't think I'm going to be able to get a golden era, am I? I'm going to be stuck in a normal era. Every time I'm stuck in a normal era. Just the Temple of Artemis is going to take too long to build as well. Ugh, anyway, I'm going to switch to Corvée, get myself a bit more wonder speed. Yeah, that'll do quite nicely. Sorry, Konya, you're going to lose out on that one. So there's Ibrahim. Pasha is quite a good one, military units. I mean, that's okay, but it's really this one, Saraskir. Grants all units within 10 tiles of a city center plus 10 combat strength when attacking defensible districts. It just means he's really, really good at destroying stuff. But he's not the first one we get. We need to focus on getting Pingala at the, at the start, just so I can get the tech to push me through the game. Istanbul is going to be my biggest city once the Temple of Artemis is in. So we'll put that down. Hopefully that will help push us through the early stages of the game. Now, we've got state workforce, let's get early empire. We're not far away from getting political philosophy. Normal ages for everyone. Nobody got it. Fair enough. Well, we're going to get more free inquiry bonuses than anything else. Actually, no, we are going to get a religious. Exodus of the Evangelist. Let's do that now. We'll see who has got their religion. An unknown player has got one. That's fine. It doesn't look like France is going to go for one, which is a really good thing. There's two three players so i'm gonna hopefully get the last religion that would be quite handy that actually we're we gonna do it are we gonna get pingala and the temple of artemis on the same time please oh the major flood hit there and i was like oh no what's it done there we go there's the temple of artemis wonderful this is going to give me a number of things actually so uh, let's just keep corvée on because we need that for a little bit temple of artemis obviously gives us extra food which is a magnificent thing, but it also gives us an amenity for all the camps and plantations within four tiles. Now, we're going to get lots of both, actually. There's a plantation here. Uh, we're going to get one here. There's a camp here. There's also a camp here. So it should give me four amenities. Actually, no, there's a plantation there. Five amenities. Oh my god, this is wonderful. This is going to be absolutely swell. So already our city is still happy, even though we sold away all our luxuries. <laughs> wonderful. Istanbul. You did a good job, but your job is not yet done. Oracle needs to be built. Seeing as we've got such a high culture start, I'm going to go for researcher over connoisseur. I'm always tempted to go for connoisseur. I like the additional culture at the beginning of the game just to get those early governments in, but I think we've got plenty, so this is fine. Cool. I think I'm, pro I'm quite happy with this start. It's going to be a very short episode today. I'm very sorry. I, uh... I've got to go to work and I'm rushing to get this video filmed and edited before I do so. So, you know, longer videos in the future. What I need from you guys as well, and hopefully I'll remember to leave a comment. Chances are I probably won't remember to leave a comment. But can you let me know below all of the things you want me to name cities? Because I am, I, I need a naming scheme. As good as Istanbul's names for cities are, I want to I wanna make this our own game. So give me a naming scheme and we'll run with it.